Hello, Pat Skeets here from me and my Cricut.com. Today we're going to do um, an album share, and these are pages. I can, I'm going to do all these, and they're kind of floral, spring and summer, that sort of thing. Um, make you can use them for other different types of pictures, like. I think this would be cute for kids or even camping, whatever. But I've got, you know, flower pictures in my garden and that sort of thing. I think this was during COVID too, so um, we just stuck around the house a lot. Anyway, um, these are all from Everyday Life Scrapbook number 51 on my website. There's a link below. So if you go there, you can find design space links for all of these pages and you can uh, copy them very easily if you like them. So um, let's begin. Now I love this. This is so cute. Number one, this paper is absolutely stunning. It's from a very old pad, um, American Crafts. It wasn't even a pad, it was a package in a box and uh, I just loved it. I still have a few sheets of it left anyway. It's for very special pages and I thought this page was it. So um, these are just my garden photos and stuff, my planters. So um, I thought because of the yellow and the orange and red colors that this went perfectly and I decided to go with a bee theme just for fun found this great honeycomb frame in design space and <clears throat> just put some uh, honeycomb in larger size on top and then made a little border with it here. I, I just used the one sheet of paper. I used the full sheet so that it would quite large so it would show because it's such beautiful paper. So that's really the only uh, background image I have on here. And then I used honeycomb again. I just did it in black. I did a border here, another piece here, and I just did a title, Be Beautiful, um, and added some bumblebees all over the page. Like this frame had a bumblebee attached, so I thought that was kind of cute. Anyway, I think you're gonna love these pages. The florals in design space are just blowing me away. I, I think some of these pages coming are the nicest pages I've ever done. I just love them. It's the images in Design Space. Stunning. Okay, so here we have another beautiful images, right? So these are flowers in my garden. They're just, there's hibiscus and they're giant saucer size. They're this big. Anyway, there's just the flowers in the garden that are these pinks and plums. So I found this pretty paper here and did two coordinates and did Kiwi Lane along the bottom. Um, it's a very fresh and clean look with the white background with the just the pink polka dots. It goes well with the flowers. So um, I just found this beautiful floral corner actually and I, I flipped it and I used it t twice on this page did a border in the middle Whoop, every time I touch something I lift so many things that when you touch the page it keeps shifting anyway this is a very simple page just two images and a border each matter the photos are all lined up and I just add a little sticker thing there so that's another beautiful page. Now I can see this for wedding, shower, girly, all kinds of things. Travel, I can see Europe pages, balconies with flowers. Anyway, it's just, love the, the newer florals in design space. Okay, so now this page is another beaut. I love it. Okay, so more planters, all my planters everywhere. So um, I just, I found, this is a beautiful, beautiful paper. I, 
I guess you know I'm in love with flowers. Anyway, I found this beautiful floral. It's quite tropical, actually. Yeah, there's a bird on it. I um, It went with the colors of my flowers here, the, these hibiscus plants. So, just created a big border with it. And then another piece up here that matches this border. I then laid out my photos in a line horizontally and then use this for a base to sit all these flower pots on because these were flower pots. Then I did two big pots with tall bigger plants in them right here. So this plant is the same as this and this and this one is the same as this one and these two are just different images. They were all in design space. I'm just loving what they have there. Anyway, I just did a simple title, Grow, collect, um, grouping the letters closer together until they weld. And then I welded them once they were overlapping and did a couple of offsets. And then this is a chipboard frame from Simple Stories that I used behind here. And I just used it to for a base for this. I, I like to use frames in different ways. I often put them over top of pictures at an angle or something. But anyway, that's what I did with that frame. And I just added pink gems, their pearl, uh, to embellish the page with. Very pretty. So many pretty florals in the design space. Okay, now here's another one. Okay, so this paper is a is a, a floral border. Okay, but I, my photos were mostly horizontal, so I wanted to use it this way. So I just turned the two of them to make it frame properly, and then placed my photos and added a beautiful little, very delicate border, floral border, on the bottom. These are embellishments from Creative Memories. It's a corner thing. It just fit perfectly on this oval. So I used it, swung around a second one, and used it here as another corner there. Um, very simple page. Cutting the photos in circles and ovals gives you a little more room. Creates a little more interest on the page. And then I found this gorgeous image that looked like this kind of flower. So... Um, and then I, I, this is embellishments again from Creative Memories. Added some pink gems around everywhere. Oh, lavender. Actually, they're lavender. Um, and I just use, sometimes I use them in lines. Just makes a little more of a statement. Anyway, another very pretty floral page. I can certainly see using a page like this for girly pages and uh, just anything pretty shower prom wedding that type of thing and oh this one i love so this is another paper from whoops from that very special favorite pad i had um, there's not many sheets left but this is one of them giant poppies and these are my poppies and then some other red flowers so I put them all on this page so um, to use this large print paper I used it in large pieces so there's one there and one across here and then I found these beautiful poppy images see the flower these images are so beautiful now in design space I'm flipping out over them and look at this. This is a geranium, another geranium, a poppy, some other kind of flower. I just love this. Just love it. I think I created that out of different flowers and then I did an offset for it. So that's a beautiful border. And then here I just put a camera and photos like but the florals on each side, it just balanced nicely. I mean, it created a nice big border like this over here. It added some uh, balance. And then this is 
just beautiful sitting there. Here's um, just a, a store bought. This is a K&N Company border that from my stash that I've had for a long time. So I used it here. It was the perfect page for it. Absolutely love, love, love this page. Actually, all these pages. The, this, the design space is just amazing. All the wonderful images. Okay, so here is more garden pictures. So I just did a huge mat for them all. Cut them into four by fours. Well, these three anyway. This I left bigger, and they're just my hanging baskets. So I ran them all along here horizontally, and one up there. And then I thought I would, I saw these images of windows and with cats, and I thought they were hilarious. So because I had this paper with all these hanging baskets, it went with, I had already decided to use this paper. Uh, so I thought, I'll just put it inside the windows. I thought that was just, these images of cats are so adorable. And here's two cats in the window here. But I just did the black paper in behind all of them so that it ran right across the page. Now, how simple is this? It's so easy. I didn't do it much. I lifted these cats up, put lifters behind them, but it, it's just adorable. And a very, very simple page. Didn't even mat these photos. Just this large one, but I didn't even... It, it just worked out beautifully. I think this is adorable. You cat lovers might like that layout. And now we threw some sunflower seeds in the yard. And um, so we... We just left a patch where we let them grow. We didn't cut the lawn around them. We just up to them and let them grow, and they just grew so big. Anyway, this was the year we had sunflowers. I didn't do it again because it was in the middle of the lawn, but we feed the birds, so I thought it'd be good for the birds too. Anyway, this beautiful sun flower paper has bees on it and it's from the graphics 45 b collection um yeah it's just beautiful paper so um i love that so i just made a border there a bigger wider border here and then a skinnier border and a coordinate from this collection same collection um then i just found some images of sunflowers and uh, so there's two of them here. This lovely image, I, I quite like that one. And then another one, these would be from the same uh, cartridge that I found those. And then I just did a little embellishing right here. I actually added a, a one back here and I just cut it in half and stuck it down. Fill that space, it was a bit too empty for me. And then this is just a sticker from the collection, the Graphic 45. Oh, I used another sticker here from there. Pretty. All right, and now we have daffodils. Okay, so these are actually some kind of a little lily, I think. Anyway, I used the daffodil images because I had this beautiful paper. This is from Stampin' Up. I loved it, so uh, a friend of mine sells it, so I asked her for this set. And this is really pretty paper, too. Now, this one, I think, is Creative Memories from the Yellow Bloom collection. Anyway, I had these old sticker titles. I think they're from dollar stores from years ago. I still have several, but... It was pretty cute, and I just put that beautiful on there. So this is just a shape from Cricut Design Space in the free shapes. I just cut one out there and one for here. And this is a frame from Elegant Edges. Just use that for a background. And then added my yellow flowers pictures here. There's a poker. Anyway, um, did a cluster 
around the base of this big daffodil and then I used the same daffodil, flipped it and made it quite a bit smaller for over here and did another cluster over here and I used black uh, enamel dots all over it here and there and love this image with the three daffodils too. Cute. Very cute. Now aren't these pretty? Even these would be beautiful for um, girly pages or showers, proms, bridal. Here's some in orange. Okay. So this is so pretty too. All right, here's my tiger lilies um, in full bloom, far away, closer, and right up close. <laughs> and that's that poker, flame poker. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, okay, so I used Kiwi Lane uh, paper, er, templates for the background borders, these wavy borders along the bottom. First, I found a, a multicolored print that had the orange in it and green that I wanted. So that was this. And then I found coordinates in uh, orange and uh, softer, peachier color. So they all coordinate with this one. And then I found images of lilies. Look, perfect. Same flowers. And these are like the poker Red Hot Poker, I think it's called. Anyway, these looked like those, so I embossed them and inked them to make them look a little more rough, like this. And then I just added, gardening is my therapy. I've always loved gardening. Um, and then I, I created a little cluster with these little images here. These are from Creative Memories. I wrapped them so I buy a lot of their embellishments. There's another one here. And then I just used some gems around and cut a border from, uh, that's a Creative Memories border. Just cut it in half, used half there. Just filling up the space and filled up space there with that. It just worked. It's cute fun pages. You could use that for camping too. Okay, so here we have some pretty birds. Yellow finches. Um, Alright, so this paper is not solid. It's a very fine grid. Um, and then I had all these, this birdhouse paper in yellow with little Tweety birds on it. I thought they were so cute. They're cartoony type birds. So I found an image of cartoony type bird and I just found some birdhouses. So I did a couple of big branches, hung some birdhouses from them all over the place to tie in with this paper. And then this is just a wavy border. I think it's Cascade. It's called from Kiwi Lane. I then, this is a border punch from Creative Memories, the border maker. I used, this is Simple Stories. Um, I buy their chipboard frames. Oh, I love them. So I used that here. I even just sat a round photo on it. It just fills up space and it goes well with the yellow. And then I cut all my photos in circles, little circles so they wouldn't hide all the, I'd have more room. I didn't want a, a four by six with all branches and just a little bird in it so I trimmed them right down then I just used this is the die that I have and I just put some of the birdhouse paper in there too so that was a lot of fun and it's really cute that could be great for a kids page playing in the backyard or a park <clears throat> and now we have um, I had never seen a Baltimore Oriole in my life because I always lived in Toronto and uh, Vancouver and they never, I was in the city so I didn't see them. They don't like the city. So now I live in a small city and I'm nearer the edge of town and I guess I'm in a flight path. So 
We get them every spring. They don't stay. They go to my sister's house to stay. But I do love them. They're so beautiful. It's such a joy. So I have two Oreo bird feeders that I put out every spring. So I love taking pictures of them when I see them. And these are so cute. All right, so again, this paper is from Stampin' Up. Beautiful floral border paper. So I just fussy cut the whole thing and created a nice border across the two pages. And then these images of uh, daffodils are from Design Space, love that. I just filled in all the space with them. And this is uh, from Creative Memories. It's the yellow blue. I think it's it's um, an embellishment, a laser cut embellishment. And then I put this little frame on top and put some gingham paper inside. And then I inked it all to mute it a bit. It was a little too bright. So I just created a title here, Orioles Love Oranges, because that's what brings them. And then I did a little embellishment here with oranges and some leaves. Added some gems over here and over here in two lines, just to complete the look. So I think that's really cute. Love my Orioles. Those of you who are lucky have them living right near you. Okay, so I have a, a section of old photos from our family, and um, I pull out one of the pictures every once in a while when I just need a change from what I've been doing, because these are kind of heritage to me. This is my mother and her sister, and uh, so it's uh, kind of special to me. Anyway, so I found this paper. I mean, she's in lavender, she's in pink, but it, this is so faded, this picture. With their blonde hair, it, this seemed to go well with it. This brown and the flowers and the purple, it just seemed to work really well. Um, so I, I just, Thought this paper the pictures just came alive when I saw this paper with it so it's all embellishments from creative memories this is a collection of theirs so um, this border was perfect these it just was the perfect collection for these pictures so I was very happy to find it and I just put this sticker family here it was pretty I just kept created a big corner over here and a little banner up there a border across the top it's an old picture has a great big scratch in it but it's precious to me and it has a bunch of pearls on this little border here so oh this what I cut off of here I stuck down here um, on this so just random putting pearls on pieces everywhere it's it's not no cricket involved here, just just some uh, embellishments, and I like it. It turned out okay. I really don't care for heritage page pages. I'm actually kind of not comfortable with them because they're. I feel like I have to do them not my style, but this one worked out. I like it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at these, and you can. Find the design space links on my website. So remember, Everyday Life Scrapbook number 51. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.